Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler. Welcome to another episode of Farming Simulator 17. Here in my Dutch Far Warrior and uh, hooked to a plow. Anyway, I was just watching a, a Night Ghost uh, episode of Mulosh exploring scary buildings in Fallout 4, eating dinner, and decided I'd better get to one of these episodes. Just got back from that trip that I'd taken into Canada and uh, it, was, it was a lot of fun. But uh, speaking of corn in the cob between my teeth, we're going to plow this up and put corn in here today. So let's get started on that. Talk more later while this is happening. Unfold him. And this one does not flip over. It's just a. Some of the plows will flip after each row, but this one doesn't. And if I remember right, he kind of kicks off to this side a bit. Yeah, that looks good. Let's back him up and I'm going to hire him out. Plowing is not something that I can do straight, that's for sure. <laughs> that looking good? Yeah, we're missing the edge here, but I think that will be fine. This wheel's kind of floating. Oh well. I'm sure it knows what it's doing. Um, where is the cab? There's the cab. I'm look around here. Yeah, that looks good. We're going to jump out at the end and grab the baler over there and start bailing the rest of that up. And I brought over the, uh, what do you want to pick, what do you want to call it? The uh, the machine that picks up the bales. There's a name for it. Anyway, brought that over so we can be cleaning them up, hopefully before this plow tries to plow them back under again. Um, what else? Pop back out of here so we can see it all better. Yeah, I just got back from that trip to Canada, and that was a lot of fun. Went through British Columbia and Alberta, just watching it take out the little piece of barley that we missed there. Uh, went up to the Edmonton Mall and looked around. Kind of stalling here while I'm wanting to see if he's going to make this turn properly. And it's been a day there that's quite a mall. That is, I'd heard about it. I always wondered what it really was. Turn out there is a theme park in there with with I think three maybe four roller coasters all kinds of rides all crammed into one little space everything interweaving in and around each other it was amazing to look at the engineering and they had a, a, a water park in there I, I uh, jumped on a zip line and rode that across the, the water park and we had a lot of fun and then took off the next day back toward Banff National Park and went uh, through Banff and, and explored it. I'm going to jump out while I'm talking. Banff is a, li a lot like a little town we have near here called Leavenworth. So, touristy town and uh, a lot of uh, tourist shops and you could spend all day long looking at it and, and never see it all. Um, I can't really play while I talk because I'm just not wired that way. G B V G. I guess it's going? I think so. Let's run this thing. Like so. There we go. Let's floor it, though it won't let us go beyond 12 miles an hour. Spit these guys out and try to get back. Let's see if we can do two rows and get back and grab these bales before he makes it to the first bale over there. That's the plan. Um, yeah, Banff was, was really a neat place. There was another place on the way home called Fort Steel. That's kind of an historic area. Um, gets into fossils, uh, mammoth bones, I'm guessing. There's amusement uh, kind of rides over there. So I'm thinking that may be a place to, uh, that and, and Banff, to come back to and just concentrate a trip, trip just in that area. We went through this trip way too fast. I missed a little piece there. So we'll need to do it again and see it properly next time. But let's see, he's making that turn okay. Yeah, he'll be cutting into the road there, but that's fine. That's our own private road. Nobody drives on it. All right, let's get the second row finished here, and then disconnect and go and grab the, the, uh, the loading trailer over there. And we'll just piggyback back and forth on this till we get it done. I already cleaned up the, the few that were out there so I can get him going. Let's swing out here. We'll line them up like so and Q. Though I didn't leave me a lot of room, did I? 
Let's see if I can pull this off. We'll come in this way. So I drove a 30-foot RV for 1,400 miles in four days and managed to see everything. <laughs> that was some, uh, some interesting driving. I don't think there are any Royal Mounted Canadian Police out there on the uh, on the main roads, you know, in the the more rural areas. You know, highway. I say it was Highway Two. They headed up to Edmonton and and kind of weaved around. Came back. Uh, oops, waiting for that. There it goes. Weaved back through. I think it was 11 and 22 to grab 93 and 95 back toward Banff. I never saw a single uh, police vehicle the whole trip. Here in Washington and Oregon and California, <laughs> you don't go you don't go a half hour without seeing somebody pulled over on the side of the road. Of course, there weren't the shoulders in those roads weren't uh, that developed. There really was no place to pull over if you got a ticket. So maybe it's just uh, just not part of their plan. I don't know. It's different. Than I'm used to. All right, you're done. You're almost done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I only have one more row there. And then he's full. Where are we going to put that? And then I also got to uh, experience the joy of converting miles to kilometers and back. So that, was, that took some getting used to. At least they were driving on the, on the right side of the road. Otherwise, I'd have really been toast. Um, GBVG. There we go. That didn't work. What'd I miss? Oh, V was already down. There we go. And it stayed down. I left it there. So I ended up putting it up instead of down. Alright, so with that much room, can we do the rest of this? I think we can. Yeah, I think we can do the rest of it before the, the plow's done. So once we're done bailing then and picking it all up and stashing it somewhere, we'll take this tractor, the uh, Massey Ferguson, and head out and grab the cultivator and come in behind him. And then once he's done, we'll grab the uh, the sower, probably with, with the, the warrior over there, to uh, bring the, the big sower over. And I think that's the plan. All right, let's take this nice and slow. It's going to pick up a lot one time. Yeah, there's a half a bale right there. Grab this little bit here. If I go fast, then, well, no, take it slow here. I don't want to flip that up, that last bale off yet. Not until we're closer to here. Now, if I go a fast corner, will he, uh, will he flip off of there? Nope, he didn't. Now, the night coming out of Banff would have been Tuesday night. We got home Wednesday. Was We stayed for, for dinner, had a pizza, and it was dark when we left. And we still needed to get down to, uh, it's called Radium Hot Springs for RV parking spot that we had reserved. And needed to get there by a certain time, which we didn't make. And it was raining, raining hard. And they had just paved the roads over there. And to tell you, the, the roads were like mirrors. Completed their task. Oh, we're, we're also uh, um, cultivating and planting where the wheat was. I'm just looking at him. He's only got one more turn, I'm thinking, before that trailer is going to be in the way. Let's see what we can do here. But the roads were wet. And just, you know just rain sitting on everything and reflective like mirrors and black brand new road bed and I could hardly see a thing it's a uh, hundred kilometer oh, 90 kilometers an hour through there and nobody else on the road dark of night the uh, the highway signs are so reflective so I had to put my sunglasses on practically just to just to keep from uh, blinded by those things. You never knew when a deer was going to run out in front of you or a moose or something, so it was quite the experience. It was the, it was the uh, white-knuckled uh, 
uh, experience there. We made it fine, though. This is almost done. How am I going to catch that with this thing? That was the mess at the end. All right, big deep pile here. I right, clean up that row pretty good. Let's snip this off this way. Oh, I checked out field number five before we started up. And where's he at? He's over there. Oh, who put that bale there? And it's coming in at less than a million dollars for it. So a little cheaper than I thought. Anyway, it, it's, a, it's on sale. It's, it's a steal. So, um, I see we have 2.8 million left. Let's drop this guy off. Actually, on the side. So... That... We'll get into that one one of these episodes soon. B and drop that off. Okay. Let's grab this. He, no, he's still at the other end, so we have time. So, I was just curious if... I thought that was more like... I think it started off at 1.2 or something like that, but we've, uh, we've done some work for that farmer. So, he likes us a little bit. Now, where's my first bale? Right over there. Where are we going to dump this? I had something else I wanted to say about Field 5, but let me think here. We could just go sell this and then keep what's left on the next one. I think that might be a better plan. Because we're full, right? Can I get one more? I think we're full. Let's just graze this one. Yeah, we're full. Alright, let's do this. But... Eva Lytle had written in when I was talking with Field 5 uh, the last time, and uh, Eva was saying that, that uh, up in Alberta that uh, they've got huge sections of, uh, of, of fields, of crops, where they plant uh, a lot of the same plants that we, that we do in this game. The uh, oats and wheat, you read while I'm driving, no text and drive, and uh, canola and corn and potatoes. And what they do over there is they'll take manure and spread it out over the field and it'll stink for a few weeks just before the snow hits. And then it will sit... I need to go back the other way. I'm uh, driving while talking and it's not working out. Um, let it sit through the winter. And then, in some cases, not even plow it in afterward. It will have basically broken down with the uh, freezing. And then... I'm going to turn this around here. And then, uh, as the snow melts, I would imagine it just uh, kind of wicks the minerals right down into the soil. I think if the soil is acting as a as a filter for the you know the water hits the aquifer down below, leaving all the, the nutrients right there in the, in the soil. So we don't even need to plow it over there. Let's see. Let's. Boy, what was that? Why? Yeah. Am I gonna hit? Let's go. Forward a little bit. No, you're gonna land right there. I gotta go back. There we go. Uh, wages are paid, and you're still sewing over there. Good. So why should release it and sell it at about three hundred dollars a barrel? Good. Why I'll bring it back down. Let's go get the other ones. That's not the go button. That's the back button. All right. Let's don't hit the rocks pick up arm there until it retracts on its own. We've got to get these these forks back to the front. And it's working its way up there. There's a pickup head. Okay. Let's get moving. And I think straight is the better route. I was able to get that huge header into there. It doesn't fit. <laughs> But it was out in the middle of the yard and in the way, so I put it away before I started recording this. Speaking of starting recording this, where am I at? Well, about 15 minutes. Okay. B drops him back out. Let's grab the last of these bales. Which are still scrolling up the screen there for what we just sold. Go to the end while that's resetting itself. Now we'll catch one. It's ready. Hmm. 
Let's jump and cap for the rest of these. That's always a challenge to figure out where your wheels are. You come in right alongside of it. And there it is. Yeah, that's waiting for one more. Okay, just graze it. Perfect. One more over here. And that's all resetting back there. So we can... Uh, C is blocked by something. Alright, who's C? And why am I... Oh, this is a short turn. A short uh, tongue on this trailer, so it doesn't want to turn that fast. Okay, who's C? He's still going. The other one... Well, let's take Uber over there real quick. See what's going on. Who left that trailer in the way? I have no idea. Alright, let's fire him up and dump this one not in the way. Somewhere over here. And coming backwards here. <laughs> let's pull out a little bit. There I am. Okay. We'll come over here. And he's going to do what next? Actually, nothing. He's not, I don't think he's strong enough to do some of the equipment we're going to use. So we'll just drop him off over here. And grab that, that Uber and get back to... Oops, there he was. Right there. And one more. There we go. You got it? You got it. Looks like four left over there. You reset yet? You reset. Perfect. Alright, let's swing around. So this does not take a sharp turn. You gotta release the wheels once in a while. Keep the the tongue from, from hitting the hitting back there. Got him. One more. <clears throat> then where are we gonna drop this guy off? One, two, three, six. We can take eight rows. Not quite full, but that's all we're going to have for a while. Um, I'll leave him behind over there. Let's just drop this off in the yard and bring back the cultivator. Um, which will be cultivating spots that are not plowed. Oops. Let's do this first. There we go. Just debating whether to uh, commandeer the, the plow and just clean those little parts up first. We'll see. Um, we're grabbing the plow, which is way up over there. Okay. I guess we can dive into this route. And do what with them? Well, we'll just add to the mess over here. Right there. Alright, let's grab a cultivator. Then we'll figure out what we're going to do with the plow. So that plow does not work that well as far as the AI cleaning things up. I don't know how it's supposed to work at all, to tell you the truth. With that big diagonal on there, there's no way to do a rectangular field. So apparently that's just not the right plow for the job. The only thing I can come up with. Okay, let's bring him out this way. So yeah, 30 foot RV or motorhome. It, uh, it's interesting to turn corners with. I've driven a lot of the, the big moving trucks, so I'm used to it. Probably why I can do these, you know, the big equipment in here without a real issue. But um, it is a challenge. You've got to you got to swing wide. You got to you know re recognize the possibility of tail swing. Let's put him over here. Where is Mr. Plow Guy? He's way at the other end. Huh. Let's see if we can find him. He was right there. Let's 
unhire. Let's clean up this half. Yeah. That is what? G... V? Nope, he was up. Okay. There we go. So let's... Just race over... I could go, you know, this direction across all of it. But I believe... You know, I don't know. If the cultivator will freak out at that point or if he'll just plow right through. Let's find out. Let's do them this direction. Although, I see I can't turn around over at that end. So let's start from here. The, the hard way. We'll do it this way. Alright, something in there. B. Let's clean this up. It'll still be marked as plowed, even though the rows are different. But I think the cultivator will cancel all this and clean it up. I think. We will find out. If we track through here far enough to catch that, V, and he can wait a moment. I can zip right through here. Oh, put that tree there. And pull back into here. Not a problem. Alright, V. Now, where to stop? just like that. Yeah, I think that cleaned most of it up. So V, let's get back to the other side. Clean that end up and then turn the cultivator loose. And we'll see what it does. Something like that. Though I've got to not release it in this part, or it'll mess up the AI trying to finish the job over here. There. Now, well, got into it a little bit. We'll see if, uh, if he stops and thinks his job is done when he gets to that point. They tend to do that. Uh, all done, boss. Going home now. B. No road. No cars. No cars. Get him reset. Don't you take out that sign. Okay. And we'll reset him at... Eh, right about here. Let's see what happens. Otherwise, we are where? We're way over there. That didn't work. Higher. There we go. Okay, that's a nice clean entrance there. Um, tab? Tab. There we are. Oh, right here. Oh, the red thing over there is the uh, baler. Okay. Alright, let's open this guy up. Really needs a bath, but kind of, what's the point? <laughs> it's going to get dirty next time you use it. <laughs> as long as you keep those zerk fittings greased, it should be fine. Alright, how much wider than the tractor? That looks pretty good right there. Hire him out. And he's doing fine with the two different directions of plowing. Okay. The computer's not uh, having a heart attack. That's what I needed to know. But let's watch the end of this. Let's see what happens when he gets over there. So otherwise, as far as our trip went, um, nothing really exciting happened. You know, uh, no being pulled over, no tickets, no accidents, no near misses. It was all delightfully uneventful, except for the uh, that one night of rain, driving blind. And of course there were patches of uh, dense fog that would just pop up out of nowhere. He needs a weight, doesn't he? He does. Yeah. Let's 
unhire. Stop there, back up a little. Q, let's go grab a, a weight for this tractor. That is not going to not gonna work. It's a lot of drag. All those those tines digging in at the same time. Hopefully a weight is what's gonna what it's gonna need, otherwise I'll have to swap them out with the other uh, the tractor and get the warrior to do it. But uh, we did get to experience going through the, uh, the American Canadian border twice. So two different officers looking at us, trying to size us up, see if we're if we're on the up and up or not. So that was an interesting experience. No problems getting through. Though the one on the Canadian side was kind of curious why we were going to drive all that way just to go to a mall. I guess he'd never been there before. So I just assumed that everyone had heard of that mall and understood, but I guess not. I thought that was kind of odd. What are you really doing here? All right, that looks like the big weight. We'll grab that one. Okay. Back we go. And we'll do a little barnstorming here. I hope. Oh, a, that looks very different from inside the cab. Made it. Alright, he's making his turn there. It looks strange from that angle. Looked like he flipped it over. I'm, I'm leaning in here trying to make that turn. <laughs> Alright, let's see if this makes a difference. Oops. And higher. There we go. He's got good traction now. Okay, so I needed to see what was going to happen here. Right, good there. Yep, he's just looking at the field, not the, uh, the direction of the lines. That's what I wanted to know. And you can make this turn without clipping too much of the neighbor's field out. That's good. Perfect. So what is there for us to do right now? We need to plant. Hmm. Let's call Uber again. Pop back over to... Here. Actually, right over there. Let's put this guy away. We'll do some cleaning up. In fact, that's the sower right there. I wonder if this can handle it. Well, not this one, but the uh, uh, the case. Let's get him put away. At least I think the case is the bigger one. I'd have to check that again. I don't remember now. That's right. He was coming in at an angle. That's right. Let's do that again. The idea was that we could come up the center here with the other sower in front on the left side there and we could just curve in around him and pick this up like so okay drop him off now this guy here is not corn pretty sure he's just wheat and barley and what have you this guy is corn um let's see here shop garage which is bigger I'm assuming by the order that this guy is bigger, but we've got 92, no, 125 horsepower and 145 horsepower. Can this sower run on a 145 horsepower tractor? If I can recognize the sower. It's a red thing, right? <laughs> That's the big one that is not the right one. No corn in there. That's him right there. Corn. Takes a 140. And I said 145, didn't I? I think I did. 145. Okay. That works then. So hop out of there. 
We'll set him aside and grab the other one. In fact, I probably should take this one. Well, I guess not. I was going to say take him over to the cow farm and grab the other case and bring him back. But it's kind of nice to have the two different sizes out here. You get the, the variety. One of each tractor out here. All right, fuel will work. I think this one will fertilize as well. If I remember right. In fact, the potato planter, I think, will too. We didn't grab the fertilizer when we were here. I may have to run some fertilizer out there to them. Grab you. Yep. Uh, that is seed, right? Uh, why? Yeah. So we need seed. Let's back him in. Uh, over here, that's right. Right down the middle. Kinda. Kinda not. Oh, my, my pedal keeps slipping out from underneath me. I got one of those uh, chair mats under this desk because I've got carpet that I put into the new studio and I don't want the, the office chair, to, the wheels, to rub a hole in. Let's see here. Let's R to fill it up into the carpet. So I put one of those plastic mats down. Uh, R again. There we go. And R again. Boy, we're just dumping those things fast. And so now the the uh, the pedals slip on there. G and G. All right, so let's take this guy out there and get him into position. I don't know if I would dare run him yet. Let the uh, cultivator get a little further ahead. almost done. He's going to start messing up soon with that diagonal. He's actually doing pretty good. I don't remember what speed he drove at. Let's open this guy up. Figure out where our width is. Pretty sure i got to be a little closer to the edge. You liking that? I'm liking that. Okay, back up a little bit. Right there. And we are set to corn, so let's go ahead and hire him out. And we're driving at 9, 10, 11. What are we going to max out at? Holding at 11. Okay. Let's jump tractors over here. Ah, touching 12. Let's see how fast he's going. If he's going 12, then we're fine. So, bail out, and jump in, and we're going at 8, uphill. Slightly uphill? No, we're pretty level. 7 and 8 is all we've got, so that guy is going to catch him. Hmm. Well, we'll just have to keep an eye on it. Yep, he's not going to go any faster. Next, we've got to... Yep, that's what I thought, right over there. So that was a shift tab, and we're there. I have to run this one manually for a while. In fact, let's clean up this end while we're at it. So, V... There. Yep, that's good enough. What did we miss? One little spot over there. We'll race over and clean up the other end. Right there. Whoa. He does rotate? I didn't know that. What did I hit? I thought I hit V. <laughs> He's all messed up now. Let's see. What did I hit? B? I hit B. So apparently B is... Yeah. Rotate. Okay. Let's back up and try that again. There. 
That's what I wanted to do. So are we going to touch it all? Yeah, it looks like we are. Not a little further. Right in there. Okay. V. And let's see if I can get myself out of this corner here. Something like that. Let's race to the other end. Clean that up over there. Then we'll set them loose in here. One part of the triangle at a time. Let's see. Nope, didn't want to do that. This, the plow's going to stop on his own right there. Hmm. I have to get out to about here. Alright. Done. Right there. I'll bet you I can't make this turn and catch that. Yeah, well, it's pretty close. I'll make that work. Since it doesn't matter the direction of the rows anyway, I guess I can do some diagonals and really mess this up in here. And for that matter, I can go ahead and just pull out right here. Yeah, that works. Okay, so let's get him restarted. Um... If I do it at that other end over there, then he'll make the turn and come back. How does that sound? Actually, it sounds like it doesn't really matter, because he'll mess up at this point right here. Let's go ahead and hire him out and see what he does. Blocked by an object. F and B. Um, what am I not getting here? He's awfully close. Is he going to make that? Looks like he is. So, oh, hello. Yep, we have a conflict over here. So let's hop out of you, jump into you, unhire, back up. Don't you start moving. And we'll just park him out over here and, and wait a while. Okay, so that is corn planted and fertilized with this guy. He's cultivating, he's plowing. This field's going to be done when we're finished with this. Yeah. Uh, to get out of there... Oh, I see all three are stacked next to each other with a tab button. Good. What's he going to do here? He thinks he's done, doesn't he? Yep, he thinks he's done. You can pay me, boss. No, 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 no. Hold on. Let's... We're in the air? We're in the air. So let's carefully drive over the furrows here. Yep, almost put a plow into my back wheel. Now, what happens if we start him at this end? Will he? Will that be enough to finish the job? I want to be actually a little further out over here. Uh, v, right there, higher. Okay, that's that's working. Although we're a little bit far into the already completed area, so it looks like we're. Not going to finish this one with this pass. Be probably three and four over there at the very tip. He's doing fine over there. I'll give him another four or five rows, and then we'll. It's kind of a line in there, like the sower missed a tiny little strip. Oops, not that one. Well, I guess I can see it. That line right there. What is that? That's cultivated versus sown. Okay, there's seeds in that half. And this is just cultivated. Okay, that makes sense. All right, what are you going to do here? So you rotate it up to vertical when you make your turn, rather than just lift up off the ground. I see. You do it the hard way. <laughs> Harder than I'm willing to work. Okay. Could get him out of here. While they're doing all of that. Yeah, we could. Let's turn him around one more time and then take an Uber over to the uh, the New Holland tractor. Race out here and grab him. We'll clean up duty while we're waiting for the last of these uh, little areas to be done. I wonder if that will give the cultivator enough of a head start so the sower can finish behind him. Well, no matter what, they're all going to mess up on this diagonal. 
now. Okay, fire you out. And try our best to make this turn. Now we're going to come in at about here. Right? Yeah, that'll work. Fire you out and get me to the New Holland, which is the other direction. Okay. And let's grab that baler. Then we need to... what? This is already sewn over here. Yep. So we've got the canola back in that one. Good. That's right, I was going to check to see if any other fields had, uh, are just about to, uh, to harvest. But let's go hook them up first. Beacon on over there, I see. Alright, what's happening over here? Oh, he's still plowing. Okay, he's moving. And one more pass does that. Good. Almost finished here. Let's try the other right. Yeah. So let's just take him a little bit past this guy so I can make the turn. Jump out. And do this last little piece. For that matter, we need to finish these up too. Now yeah, do it this way. Okay, that's done. So B pops it off for travel. Go ahead and do that this time. Run over to this end. Is there anything left to clean up over there? I don't think there is. Nope, we're looking good. Okay. Then let's just take him, miss the sign. We'll just shy of that field. Which is barley, it looks like. Right there. Does he need that area to turn? I don't think he does. If we can park him. Oh, he's still running. That's why the light's on. I didn't catch that. I left him running. All right, let's get back into here. And I am going to guess that this is our starting point. Looks about right. We'll overlap a little bit just to make sure. Still set to corn. Yep, hire you out. Nope, oh, I missed it. Let's come in more like here. Good. Yep, that's good. Something like that. Okay. So he's still working there. We'll see if they conflict. Probably the first of the diagonal over there. Um, that is the guy we want. Yeah, let's take him back. And that's pretty much an episode, isn't it? So we're getting the last of the cultivating and uh, the corn seed put in. This guy needs to head to the upper field. We'll get him parked and we'll call this one done. And off camera, I'll just finish off the last of the cornfield and we'll find something new to do next time. Yeah, he's 
is always a fun one to sneak into there. What do I need to do here? B? I see, he does flip all the way around. It's not just for transport. Alright, if I do it again... Do we stop? We don't. Then X? X does not work. Okay, we'll go to B again. I thought there was a, a one that stopped right here, vertical. So that it fits into a tighter place when you park it. X. That's it right there. Okay. So, how best to make that sharp of a corner? It is a long tongue, so I, now I don't have that kind of flexibility. Okay. We'll go further. Just touch the concrete with the wheel over there. Alright, something about like that. Nope, not enough. At the last second, I forgot to turn. Alright, this way, this way. Zoom in a little bit there. Just miss. I'm going the wrong way. I'm pushing the button and willing the camera to move that way and it's not happening. There we go. Alright, that's pretty straight. Depth-wise, we'll go a little further. Right there. Cute. Alright, well, I'll go finish off the cornfield and, and I think we're going to call this one done. This has been Noble Rambler. Catch you next time, folks. Bye-bye.